Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Alai on Endless. <sighs> Alright. Things appear to be going well, which is what I say every time things are about to go incredibly hilariously wrong. It's a bit of a Rob, Rob Schneider trailer voice going on there. Rob Schneider is a man who's playing Endless Legend. But then things go hilariously wrong. No, never mind. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even go see that trailer for that movie that I just made starring me. Okay, so we're gonna we're just gonna blow this village up, right? There's not a particular value in doing it, I guess. But no, that's not true. Of course, there's a value in doing it. XP, XP matters, especially XP on the hero. Okay, so I'm not gonna. Uh, be attempting to employ any shenanigans here. We can just rush these guys. They're just Saratan. In fact, given that they have a range attack, that's not even a we can just rush these guys thing. It, rushing these guys is actually going to be more effective than trying to stand back. Oh, I didn't... didn't even get to start my units close enough. What a brutal... Oh, I should have instructed the hero to move forward. Try to keep pace with the army so that he can be next to people when he attacks. Alright, well he only has two speeds, so... He can only move forward one, one space at a time in this forest, unfortunately. Oh yeah, look at that, 54. I guess these guys do only have 36 defense. Yeah, Saratan are terrible units. Not not good at fighting at all. That's true, I did fail the quest. Um, what about these guys? These are haunts that I already pacified, right? I didn't actually talk to the Hernas. And I guess I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to turn around for them. Who knows what kind of mischief could be percolating in the mind of this red player over here. Let's not leave my army a million miles away from my territory. <sighs> Given how well things are going on the happiness front, do I want to try to expand again now? Also, am I being greedy? Ambition is good to a certain extent. Maybe I should just... Maybe I should not take Angrin, settle Guairon, settle Maswarim from Guairon, and then take Gleka. And that'll give me four... Or, that's five regions, actually. Yeah, that'll give me five regions with two more locked away uh, for my settling at some future date. And honestly, I probably don't even need to rush to Gleka. Right, Gleka is not a choice for the computer until Tanelm is taken. Yeah. Okay. Guaron, then Maswarim. Engrin is deserty, right? Yeah. It's not awesome. It has some territory that like looks sort of okay. Yeah, I don't need this region. I was kind of excited about it because of dies, but we'll be alright. Uh, Guairon sucks. I guess it's the, the other thing there. I actually don't want Guairon. But it's a little more lush. It definitely has more food. We can settle on top of these two anomalies and just have a small city that doesn't really expand anywhere. That's not that exciting. We can settle down here by the river. Yeah, no matter what we do, it's going to be a pretty small place. This isn't... This isn't the worst tile ever. This is a pretty good tile, though. Yeah, it'll probably be... Oh, okay. We'll settle this region because it has Delvers. Yeah. Okay. So when do I want to make that settler? Now, I guess. I know that my regions are gonna 
go into open revolt as soon as the wine ends, but uh, so be it, I guess is what I have to say about that. Let's actually, let's refocus on, on preventing that from being too, too devastating. Also, how's that die coming? 21. Alright, we may actually still get that legendary quest. I would love 130 gold. Uh, the Moonleaf and the Wine are both out. We're at 57% Empire approval. We gotta get those Delvers, though. I want the possibility of that... Uh, the possibility of that Band of Merriment so much. You know, I might be fixating. It could be... It's possible that I'm fixating on things that aren't that important. We are going to have the sewer systems built in both of our first two cities before the third city even exists, though. That's got to be helpful. Ooh, wow. Green is settling in kind of a weird shape. Well, yeah, Engrin, Engrin looks even less attractive now. Seago, of course, start getting up toward useful stuff. Uh, I need to get my dust back under control. And when I say under control, I mean, you know, thriving. The gold will help. Uh, so yeah, once we have once we have gold. We're functioning sewers. Oh, did somebody just... No, somebody got the other one. Okay, that's fine. I don't care about that. What is this? This is some Delvers. Some Delvers who are not in their home region, but are coming back to their home region and are enraged about my presence. Well, hold on a second. No, never mind. We gotta fight this right now. Okay. Uh, also, Delvers actually are pretty good military units, and it's possible that I don't even need to rush Monk if I have Delvers. Because they actually are, like, totally good fighters. Totally good. That's the, the most ringing endorsement I can imagine. Alright, uh, once again, shenanigans. I'm gonna try to draw... See if I can draw them up to here and bottleneck them. So that we only have to fight one of them at a time. Alright. So they only have two move, which means we can use this forest to screw with them a little bit. Unfortunately, this is the end of that. This turn they'll actually be able to get adjacent to the hero, but we got to shoot him twice before that happened. Oh, the stuns. Stun is actually a real bummer. Get him. Wow. Guys, come on. Step it up. It's a minor faction. Alright, at least our hero's back online. Uh, so we move to here so as to heal a little bit a little bit more effectively. Wow, 53 damage. We are totally getting our asses handed to us here. Hey, 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 hey. Did I say you could run? We're going to have to be very careful about how we handle this. <laughs> Alright, so... These guys are on hold position. There, easily, easily handled. Not, not really a thing to be worried about at all, it turns out. And our hero is indeed uh, doing a lot better on XP than last game. We've That was the level we ended last game at, right? So uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Our Empire approval rating is coming along. This is coming along. Taking good advantage of these Titan Bones. Yep, 
public library. So let's have a quick look at the region, make sure that I'm doing the right thing here. What is this? Oh. Uh, Bellon is down here. We can get a lot of titanium. I'm not that excited about it, frankly. Okay, so... 12, 12... And then if you settle down here, it's a lot less uh, a lot less impressive, right? Well, 18.5 is not bad, actually. 12.973. This is 12.995 plus 10 approval, though. And in neither space can we actually build the city out, like, very effectively. I think we actually have a better better options for building the city out up here. There's a little bit more breadth to the land. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so the city's unhappy. Uh, if we get the dust, I probably would buy out the sewer. Empire approval value has not dipped too unhappy quite yet, although it will when these boosters run out. And the die will not be enough to replace uh, the, the happiness of both of those things. So we need to try to get that... Uh... Oh, what are you doing? Let's do this for now, because it gets the sewer system online way faster. We need population in the capital. Oh, I didn't even notice that was happening. Well, shoot, we're just barely dust positive. Yeah, the city has enough industry that I think we can actually afford to leave it like that for now. Um, this city is going to be generating enough influence to fulfill the bounty of Orega before too much longer. Should I attack this city? No, let's stand still and heal for a little bit. Alright. So if you're thinking it feels like this came a lot earlier this time, uh, you're absolutely right. And honestly, the entire reason that happened is that our happiness is higher. We're just in a better place approval-wise. Uh, basically due entirely to finding some wine. Uh, so... We do need the Alchemist Furnace. We can't just park our Skyfin on stuff. Our Skyfin has to be parked on the wine. We might want to pick up Open Pit Mine, though. We definitely want to get Central Market. Let's get let's get Alchemist Furnace, and then we'll see what things look like if we have to expand our military. Honestly, if we have no borders with another player, we don't really have to worry about it just yet. Not to sound overconfident or anything. Uh, the Yotus are doing... What is too many chiefs? They wanted five glass steel. We super do not have glass steel, guy. Although we have the ability to mine some now, at least. Alright, I know that it's going to hurt, but I really do want to get Masuar in quickly. It's going to hurt, but then it's going to help. We've got to get that wine. I'm going to finish... I'm going to build another Garth in Uskiv before I uh, before I build the Settler for it, though. That Settler can maybe go down on turn 40. Alright, let's see here. We have a 3 dot up here... A lot of twos, so three over there. All right, so let's start by going to get this, and then we'll like scoop back around, pick up all this stuff on our way to this three. Uh, we need one more Garth. Oh, we don't quite have the pearls to start another Garth. Settler would take four turns right now.
Yeah, by then another citizen will have been born. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Although our dust is really in the garbage right now. Let's actually do these in the opposite order. This is going to give me plus 5 to 29, and then plus 15% is another, like, 5 if the game rounds favorably. So that still doesn't even solve the problem. Everybody in Renar is already on dust. Yeah, this sucks. Well, so much for my plans to buy a bunch more governors in quick succession. <laughs> it helped. Uh, I guess this was kind of silly. We should have put the settler first. The seed storage doesn't help us until, uh... Yeah. Alright, so now we have to start thinking about the military. Also, we've almost got the 130 gold. Oh, that'll help a lot. Right, I, for I forgot all about that. Uh, yeah, and then uh, in addition to this land that we're trying to lock off here, we also do, remember, have uh, the ability to go to the ocean. And potentially, we will remain the only ones who have that ability for quite some time, so... And the cliffs make all this... The cliffs make the travel super weird. Alright, so we have to try to make friends with Red, or we have to prepare for war. I mean, make, honestly, make friends with Red could be as easy as this, and then make peace with them before they decide that they want to kill us. Is that what I want to try? Hard to say. Alright, we are actually... Oh. I was gonna say, I thought we were gonna be below content, but yeah, the booster hasn't worn off yet. We're gonna be c below content in a moment. We can't yet assimilate our, uh... Our Delvers. Must you, really? Alright, uh, pop this... And pop that, and that pushes us back up into content, and the bonus gold, or rather the lack of payment, the bonus payment reduction, gets us some value too. Oh man, fighting these guys is actually going to cost us something, potentially. They only have 29 damage, but they do have free counter. Let's go for it, we might, we might be able to wriggle out of this without losing too much. Let's do this. Or even better. Let's do this. Oh, never mind. These guys have five speed. They will totally just run all the way around the cliff. My thinking was I'd love to draw them in here where we can both attack them and we can get the... Uh, get the range attack in. Well, whatever, I still think this is right. Uh, yeah. I thought that might happen. Oh, actually, neither one of them wants to fight with my... with my Seekers at all. <laughs> Fortunately, we're a little bit more lethal during the winter. The loss of defense seems to have not affected our survivability at all, but the boost in attack power has been significant. Alright, always only fight wars during the winter. Got it. Alright. Unfortunately, that depleted my units of a lot of the health that was supposed to go toward pacifying these Delvers. 
So do we go for the Diplomat's Man's Gambit, or do we try to get our army in shape? Let's, um... I'm going to go for the Diplomat's Man's, but I'm also going to save the game. I hope that you guys don't uh, view this as a cowardly act. But if it doesn't work, I want to go back and try it the other way, because we are still learning. Always, always still learning. Alright. Settlers finished. Uh, hold on. Somebody has 30 units. Let's, out of curiosity, is it red? No, it's blue. Blue is somewhere else. Uh, I'm going to guess necrophages. Just call it, a, call it intuition. So do I want to make the husbandry center? Just really pump up my ability to produce citizens? I think I do. How, how many turns does it take? Yeah, let's do this. Our capital is going to be great and powerful, and as terrible as the dawn. Wow, he's really going for it. All right, well we have to we have to take Maswaram now for a bunch of reasons. <laughs> he wants the wine, I think. He's a little smarter than I want him to be. Fortunately, our settler is fairly fast. I think we can get here before he can. I don't really want to fight those guys right now. I'm trying to outmaneuver them. Aha! Get outmaneuvered. I'm abandoning those pearls. Alright, I'll be really bummed if we get Maswarim snaked out from underneath us. That would be crappy. Okay, we need this. And this. And this city can build a Garth, because Garths cost more per existing Garth in your city. So we still don't actually have enough to start, a, start one in the capital. guys go. Now we have enough to start one of the capital. Alright, so one thing I didn't talk about is exactly where in Maswaram I intend to settle. So let's figure that out real quick here. There are quite a few anomalies. I could of course settle on the wine. This would be easier to figure out if it wasn't winter. Although I guess that means it'll be easy to figure out when I hit end turn. Uh, so we can see here, this is 5-2-1 when it's not winter. This is 2-1. Wait, do I not? Oh no, I totally have a quest from these guys. What do they want? They want us to destroy a Yotus village in Angren. Raven is, oh yeah, Angren, right. I knew that. <laughs> Uh, we just don't have the time for that right now, I'm afraid. Okay, so when we finish this, our Empire Approval status will remain content even when we don't have two boosters running. That'll make me feel a little bit better. It's gonna hurt, though. When we, when we plant this, it's gonna hurt. And this guy's gonna be a problem. Um, we have some pretty bad tiles in the northern part of this region. Uh, this t this space has access to two anomalies, but so many of the tiles just have two dust on them that it's not even worth considering. It's definitely down here near the massive tree, I just don't know which tile exactly. Having access to the wine is going to be so helpful though. What is this? Green wants peace. Awesome. 
That is great. Do not include the settler in this nonsense. Uh, so let's let's think about this for a moment. It looks like it's down here somewhere. You know, this region is actually pretty crappy, but it's important to us strategically. Uh, both because of its positioning and because wine is the best. It's the best thing ever. The fact that Green wanted peace with us gives me hope. Hope that we'll be able to maintain some kind of semblance of order here. Alright, that'll get our altar to level 2. We're already producing 9 influence in the city passively now, thanks to all the guards. Uh, so we don't have to worry about that. I guess we actually <clears throat> we actually do this fight. Yeah, the Seeker dies if we don't. And I don't think it's the case that we'll lose the fight. We probably will lose the Seeker, but like he's dead either way. What's my point? <clears throat> so these guys move how fast? Four. So there's no point in trying to... We, we won't be able to get a, a kite off on them. They have circular attack, but not sweep strike back. Yeah, I think the only thing that really makes sense is just to wail on this guy. Thankfully, it's our high health seeker who goes first. are you doing? Don't get distracted. The enemy is right in front of us and you have to focus. They hate, they hate focusing. It is their least favorite thing in the whole universe. Let's do this in the way that keeps us healing. You know, it's not very much healing, but when you get to, uh, when you get to line your units up right, it actually does make a difference. Well, our guys are at least generating enough, uh, enough damage that they're not being made complete fools of. Yeah, look at how bad this region is. 10, 3, 9 is the best we can do. There's four science total in the whole region, and it's all on this tile. 7, 2, 4, 15 with 10 approval versus 10, 3, 9. Actually, maybe it is just up here. Sort of a screw it to expansion, but it's pretty good, actually. And it has 10 approval on it, which honestly we may need right away. Yeah, alright. It's a weak city that's just basically generating dust. Dust and wine. Honestly, you can just you can just do this right. There. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second, buddy. Where are you trying to pass through? Why can you not do that this way? Okay, go through this. Go through this tile. You fly. All the terrain is the same to you. What do you care? All right. Uh, Guaron finished its sewer system, and then we immediately plunged its happiness back into the garbage. Seemed like the thing to do at the time, right? So, Oskib is actually in Rebellion. Empire approval rating, 13%. Groovy. Things are gonna be hard for a little while. 150! Why don't you do this? Wow, because it doesn't make any difference at all, is why. Yeah, okay, we'll leave him on dust. And we'll just buy the stuff we need, because clearly that's what's going to be necessary. It's unfortunate, but... Alright, so now we've sort of staked our claim. Green has to settle two regions before they can threaten to settle Glecka. And if we take Glecka, then we have five regions settled with two more basically locked off. It's certainly an aggressive start. Uh, as far as territory goes. 
we're generating quite a bit of influence thanks to our city actually slowly getting upgraded. We just don't have the pearls to push for a lot of guards in the other cities, although that's not a good thing. Uh, we share a common frontier. I was, I'm sad. I was really hoping he was going to say something about a common friend. I saw the words slowly coming out. Alright, so this is plus one terrain, or plus one industry on terrain in the forest. It's not awesome. Somebody else got the titanium and bell on. I'm sure it was green, and we're totally okay with that. Diplomat's Mance is finished. So we're gonna we're gonna go hard on friendship. Let's give these people a reason to like us. That reason is trade. Red is dismissive of us. We are not a danger to you. Perhaps we can even be a friend. Okay, they would love some of our gold. They would love our blood crystals. Let's do that. Let's give them some blood crystals and a little bit of the gold. And we'll make friends. Wow, we, don't, we really do not have to give them much gold. This is kind of devastating our empire plan, though. Well, it wasn't going to be a very good empire plan anyway. We definitely don't have the ability to get the plus approval one, do we? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If I pulled everything in, it would be 240. Oh, we can do that, actually. Uh, we, we maybe have to not make the deal right now. And in fact, we probably have to reassign some people. Make sure we hit... Yeah, so I'm going to do this for right now. So that we hit our 240 and we get the uh, ability to make that deal shortly afterward. Because it is needed pretty sorely. Why do, why do you insist on going through other people's territory? Just do this the easy way. Don't be so difficult. Alright, let's keep, uh, keep harvesting pearls. Grabbing pearls is, uh, is a source of XP. That's not a lot of XP. I'm saving my dust not to finish the mill foundry, but rather to finish the, um, the sewer. Uh, what's up, guys? You're a settler. What are you doing here? <clears throat> are you confused, or are you headed to Angren? If you want to settle Angren, I guess I'm fine with that. Yeah, it makes me a little nervous, I guess. If I'm being totally honest. Alright, so after we make our Empire plan, we gotta try to make a deal with Red pretty quickly. What is this? Oh, okay. Yep. Yep, we gotta make that deal with Red pretty quickly. <laughs> Getting a little nervous. How's this going? We'll get dyes for this. That's fine. Uh, actually, 15 dye will bring us up to enough dye to use the booster again when it expires. That's cool. I'm going to go get these pearls up here. Alright, cities are building stuff. Things are getting, things are getting good. Uh, we are doing this. So that'll put us up to content. Yeah, we'll get plus 20% uh, a lot of resources. And then what is it going to cost to do that deal? Uh, they're getting less and less happy with us. We have enough gold that we can make this work, but it's going to cost more and more gold for each turn because they're, they're tilting their opinion toward declaring war on us, which means that we have to make the deal, like, very soon. Next turn is next turn is when it's available. Uh, by the sewer system. Oh, asshole! Vine snakes chasing us out of their territory. Just slowing down our gameplay for no reason. Okay, we can we can take advantage of our range on these guys a little bit. 
because it's gonna take them so much time to walk across the uh, the forest. So you guys are on hold position for a little while. We get a couple of free turns of shooting here. I want to be in this space. Back up. He actually didn't close any distance there. He walked around. Look at this. This is just free XP. I bet you find snakes feel pretty silly now, or at least you would if you weren't dead. Uh... Our hero's not quite gonna kill the vine snake, but it'll kill itself on our seeker. There we go. Oh, and our seeker didn't even take damage. That was cool. Alright, we were, we were doing something. Yeah, this is a long walk over a lot of trees. I figured just to use the ocean. Okay, so now, with a sewer and that empire plan in place, we're actually still not... still not doing that well. When we get the die booster, it'll, uh, it'll help. a lot of green settlers. Oh no, I guess... Huh. It's just a lot of green rangers all split up and weird. Okay, let's... How much more expensive is it going to be? Jesus, this is like all of the gold. Can we make a different deal? What do you value? Well, of course they like the pearls a lot. Oh man, the gold is really covering a huge amount of anger. They're going to declare war on us if we don't do this, though. Oh, I guess I should have read what that event was. Uh, let's do this. Let's get that Garth finished. That's going to help. Get a little bit more approval from that. Uh, and then every Garth we build in the capital from then on will be level 2-ing another tile, so... We will buy our mill foundry in Maswarim. And then after we do that, we really do need to buy heroes. But honestly, I don't think that this is going all that badly. And what is this? We have common friends. Oh! The fact that we and Red are both friends with Purple may help us, uh, help us keep their rage in check. Alright, so that gets us to a real Empire approval value. Things are going okay, and we're not even uh, we're not even on that wine booster yet. Raise the altar to level two to get twenty moon leaf, which is not enough oh, which is not by itself enough moon leaf to get a booster, but we had ten moon leaf from before. So that'll be cool. Um, the wine is coming in at one point five per turn. Which is not quite enough to keep us in wine boosters all the time, but as the as the guy keeps leveling up, or as the Skyfin keeps leveling up, we'll get there. Uh, I guess we need to. The best thing he could be doing right now is continuing to gather our pearls. We don't have to have as large a country as everybody else, and if we can be friends with people for the most part. Uh, that'll be very helpful. We just gotta keep, uh, keep hope alive, basically. A long enough game, I think we will win. We're doing a much better job of keeping our approval under control. Um, we had to commit fairly hard to some stuff here. Uh, we definitely need to get our science up, so science building's next. Basically, I'm banking on not having to fight anything for a little while, and that may turn out not to be reasonable.
So when that Garth is finished, I'm trying to figure out how I want to spend my pearls. This one cost 18. So we will have enough to build one more. Actually, I'll probably just triangle this city and leave it for now, because we need to be spending our pearls on other cities as much as I want to reach out and grab this red rock. Well, the output of this city is 29 right now. Red rock alone adds 8. Or not red rock, but the, uh, the wizard stone, rather. Adds 8 plus 10 approval. And the Garth itself only gives minus 5, so this, this build is plus 5 approval. So yeah, maybe I do build the next Garth here, and then build the next one here, and then start building in the other cities. We just need a lot more pearls. I need to, um... Honestly, I need to split my army up. Somebody's gotta get out to the ocean. You guys have the same orders as before, though. And then Renar, I guess, build right of way, because I don't want you to build... I don't want you to spend pearls building... A Garth. And we can buy the mill foundry here and then get on all of these other things. Actually, public library above that. Yeah. Alright. And when Renar when we start getting right away up, we'll uh we'll have a lot more dust coming in. We're gonna have to periodically renegotiate with red. So we need to make sure that we have enough influence coming in that we can do that. We have to have enough influence to pay for our empire plans and negotiate with Red. Honestly, even if we didn't get Glicka, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Right? Cause, yeah, Glicka, Glicka itself is not awesome, and Shirelle's not awesome, and Doyak's not awesome. Maybe they will be once we have a view of the better resources. But like, Green's rapid expansion is slowed. The AI continues to get land all throughout the game, obviously. But it expands a lot faster at the beginning and then it, like... I don't think it actually has to deal with approval. I'm pretty sure the AI is completely unaffected by approval. Um, positively and negatively, I think. Just, it just has no uh, no concept of approval. Um, but it settles in a pattern that sort of mimics the way players have to behave because of approval. But I think it's just hard-coded into its behavior for deciding when to settle. Alright, so the altar is level 2 now. So give us a little bit more. Get that moon leaf plus the blessings of the mother. Somebody built a guardian. And so we get this quest. I do not care about that. Alright. Blessings of the mother. Cheaper to buy blessings. Uh, in Doyak. Uh, go to Doyak. Talk to guys. Ah. Alright. Our, uh... Our seafarer can make a quick stop off. And up in Uskiv, I think it would be a good idea for us to build out the right of way. We actually need one more pearl. Well, no we don't. We're fine. That's right, I forgot that our, our hero was already just about to pick up some pearls. Um, so when Green settles to Nelm, that might be our our cue to uh, get Glicka. But for now, I think we can sit on this and just try to recover. I almost forgot about uh, about that. We're actually making pretty good dust now. I think we will uh, try to save up and finish buying governors. How much are governors now? Be about five hundred. Howdy. 20 influence, okay. And then search these ruins. And we can run around picking up pearls, I guess, with our main army. With both of our neighbors being uh, at peace with us, we actually don't have to worry about getting attacked at all. 
the AI cannot just suddenly declare war on you from high, uh, high diplomatic statuses. It has to walk down to Cold War and then close borders. It sort of gives you a countdown. Well, this sucks. These guys are just waiting so they can attack us. Yotus uh, in Rachmai. Rachmal. That was totally an L. Alright. We're on good terms with green. I'm sure this won't be an issue. I could build the museum. You know what? At this point, I'm saying yes to this. And then if we build the Garth here... We'll almost have the museum at level 2 already, and we'll get the plus 10 approval from this, and yeah. I can't believe the museum hasn't, hasn't been built yet. This is bizarre. We actually have a source of glass steel, thankfully. Uh, that is, yeah, the only one in the Empire. That's fine, you know, we don't need a lot of this stuff. Especially if we're not thinking about conducting war right away. Our troops are just too flimsy. I'm looking forward to playing a uh, a Civ in the a faction rather in the near future where we can get back on that early war train because I really do uh, really do enjoy that. Okay, Master of Markets is really good. That would be really cool to have. Uh, do I want to get prisoners, slaves, and volunteers? Let's get Central Market first. So when we when we finish these. I'm not going to buy them out. If we miss out on the on the legendary deed, we miss out on it. I think it's better to save... How much is it? 297 Yeah, I think it's better to save and get governors. I think we need to have governors in our cities. Uh, we're going to have much more successful cities than we have on any of the previous runs, and I think that's a big deal. I think that matters. Green really loves to have a single Dakari Ranger in our territory. It's just like... Standing around looking menacing. Oh, we're about to actually be able to pop our wine, too. Winter's coming soon. The extra approval from the wine will be very helpful. I actually am going to wait until the first turn of winter to hit the wine. Ah, somebody else got there. I don't know for sure that we would have gotten it by buying out the... Um, the what do you call it? The right-of-way there. And honestly, um, even if we had, I don't really know, like, it's hard to put a value on getting a governor a couple of turns earlier, because it's not just a couple of turns of income that you miss, right? It's a couple of turns of being able to buff your cities with that income. Uh, this was green, wasn't it? Was pink attacking green? We gave away all of our gold. It sucks. Uh, yeah, I think pink is attacking green, which maybe doesn't bode that well for us. We're we're cool with green. I don't want to have to negotiate a whole new deal with pink. Well, hopefully, hopefully they'll figure it out. Wow, this uh this mountain here is incredibly inconvenient. We can almost afford a governor. I know that this is a little bit more Sim City than some people like their 4Xs to be, but uh, frankly, we just don't have what it. We don't have the chops to compete in battle. And I'm fine with it. I'm not fine with it. I'm a little bummed out about it. Just only a little bit. We'll survive. But I think this is what we need. We need some. We need to prioritize making peace on purpose, even at a significant cost, in order to put our stuff together and actually uh, find a way to survive. Alright, so let's have a look at who's available here. We have Influence Boost 2, Dust Efficiency 2, Science Boost 2, 
Several heroes that are really good for running armies. I like army damage boost a lot. Food boost 2, influence boost 3. That's pretty compelling. Uh, the faction tree for these guys also has a big approval boost at the top. It's not that difficult to get to. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this. Larmaster, Semsanitum 1 2. Uh, sorry. Next turn, let's take this. So, central market available to us. This isn't really that important because we don't really have enough different luxury boosters running. Actually, it maybe would be wise of us to either open up the marketplace or go back and get this so that we can get our die going. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get open pit mine. We probably want to get our die going, and we may actually want to automate the, the wine as well. Even though um, the Skyfin gathers more efficiently than an extractor does, uh, we just we may need him for other stuff. Alright, it's going to be central markets everywhere, obviously. Are you guys still on... I mean, I guess... I guess stay on it for now, but they probably should have been on food. Uh, in other places where we had, or at other times when we had other stuff going on. So we need to get to this village, yeah. Hopefully Green won't throw a fit and kick us out of their country. Yeah. Yeah. They're aggressive. I really hope Green can fight them off. Talk to the indicated village with a Skyfin of at least level 3 in dark form. Are you level 3? You are. Well, that was easy enough. <laughs> Alright, so we picked up Pilgrims of the End and 12 Pearls, which is nice. Now, I'll get back to mining. I mean, he has lots of units. Dakari Ranger, 5. We're just gonna have to hope. I do not want to get directly involved, that's for sure. Reach nine population in some city. Yeah, as soon as we finish the Museum of Orego, we'll be, uh... We'll be settling back into food in this city, and we have the Husbandry Center there, so that shouldn't be too hard. I'm gonna prioritize these pearls out here, because I'm trying to find more stuff, and look at that, I've found more stuff. Green settled Balan. We may need to think about Glecka. I'm just, I'm so close to getting our approval under control over here. Oh, I didn't buy the hero, and we're actually losing dust now. Uh, so we have to change something up. Alright. Yeah, that's, uh, that's just bad play on my part. What do we have here? Hernas. Right? Those are Hernas? Yeah. Well, let's have a chat with them. Ten die and ten titan bones. Uh, it'll be three villages, but ten titan bones. Come on. Alright, obviously I'd love to pick up all these pearls, but we should not steal pearls from our allies. They get very upset. And the city fell to pink immediately. Despite the fact that green has a full health army right here, why didn't they just include that in the battle? Oh. Green is having some kind of problem. And why does this have rays of dust on it? Huh. 
somebody else. Oh no. I was about to say, oh, somebody else bit the mega pole. I forgot. We were totally working on a thing. Man, should I help Green? I can't help him. I only have a single seeker. I'm not gonna run down there and fight those guys. Um, yeah. So, your price is rising fairly quickly. 568. Let's, so there's gold on this island, several gold deposits. Uh, let's try to go around this guy. Uh, of course, both of the level one strategics, as always, two copies, two actually, uh, two gold or glass steel deposits. That's a little unusual. Pretty cool. Oh, I totally didn't. Right, I was going to do this as soon as winter started. Wow, we're actually in good spirits. I think it's time to expand. And we're finishing stuff, and yeah. All right, we can't uh, we can't make a, a settler in Uskiv right now, though, because we need the population to rise. So we'll make it in uh, whichever one of these other cities can furnish the greatest amount of industry. It looks like it... Uh, Byron is 19, and Renar is 18, but with larger population, so it'll be Renar. Do I want to do it now? 10 turns, 11 turns, they expect. Jeez. Well, I can do this. 5 turns isn't so bad. And we have enough... Uh... <clears throat> I wonder if, uh, given the way things have worked out here, I wonder if maybe the best thing to do would actually be to equip this guy. Yeah, let's let's move the dragon into the capital. Well, the capital doesn't need the approval boost so much. We can move him again when that happens. But uh, let's let's move Weirasigo into this city. Which has a lot more forest to take advantage of his forest thing. Um, and the capital doesn't need industry as badly, is what I was thinking. So the industry boost might be better used in one of the still developing cities. While we produce tons and tons of influence in the capital. Alright, I want to try to get these guys moving toward me. And then uh, run this way. It's not that I don't think I could take them, necessarily. It's just that I don't want to have to find out how much it will cost me to take them. Alright. And we can see the edge of Blue's territory. So Blue is actually aware of this island, probably. That doesn't necessarily mean that he's in a position to, uh, to come over here and settle it. Wow, three gold deposits. Nuts. Oh, the Moonleaf ran out. Still happy. Thanks to the magic of, uh, of alcohol, I guess. Oh my god. There's so much... There is a, a cliff face that runs from here all the way down to here. It's making things really inconvenient right now. Whatever. I'm ignoring. If you want to go get those pearls, you feel free. Have at it. Ah, all right, we're starting to come along on our science. We definitely need to actually build some alchemy workshops. Um, oh, we still haven't pacified those Delvers. Okay, I need to go pay off that Delver village. <laughs> So I guess it makes sense to get access to the resources and stockpiles. The resources are more important now, the stockpiles will be important later. Man, this winter needs to hurry up and end. Oh, pink has pink is the one with the guardian. 
I don't know that... I don't consider the Guardians to be a very good investment of resources, personally, but, you know, seems to be working out for him. Alright, so do I want to try to get Gemlaunch? It's very compelling. The three... The triple gold deposit thing is really cool. All right, how is how is approval in the capital? All right, so this central market is maybe not wholly necessary. Let's prioritize the dye extractor. We'll try to try to get our luxuries running properly. <clears throat> Well, we're going to have a pretty good Empire plan. We may have to try to make peace with Pink, actually. Yep. Because Pink wants to declare war on us. Because Pink always wants to declare war on you, no matter what the situation is. Uh, so we can do this. And that for safety's sake? No, let's... Let's hold on to some influence because we need to negotiate with it. Alright, so we don't need this much dust anymore. Let's see if let's see if we can get pink to be amenable to a uh, to peace. Uh man. Boy, he sure loves pearls. But common friend modifiers are so useful that honestly... Uh, I hate to do this. How many of my pearls do you need? It's like 90. It would be 85. 86? And almost nothing else we have even registers. I think the wine is even more valuable than the pearls, frankly. 86 pearls. Is any of this technology interesting to him? Wow, it's really expensive to trade text. If we give you Alchemy Workshop, how many pearls do we get to keep? Honestly, all right, we're going to try it. We're going to try to be peaceful with as many people as possible. Uh, so purple is friends with just green. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Green and red haven't met? They shared a border for a really long time. I mean, I guess we got away without meeting purple in the last game for a really long time. Okay. I feel relatively secure for now. But I have to admit, I am disappointed the uh, the cost that had to be paid. Alright, we gotta deal with this. This, this has to stop. 234 to bribe. Yeah, totally fine. I will sit here and... Well, I, I'll go harvest pearls. I'll come back. I will totally pay that. Alright, and Empire approval is 78% right now. We've got some... Uh... Oh. I finished my settler and then did not eject him from the city. You need to come to Gleka. What are you? Just some rangers. Fine. Fine, I don't care. What is this? Oh, this is an army of dredges that just spawned. Well, that's annoying. I'm gonna come back and... Uh, help deal with that. Oh hey, we have no dust coming in. 
that cannot be. We need dust. This, uh, boy, this number is jumping all over the place. Alright, let's bribe this village. What are you doing? Bribe. Okay. Bribe the village, assimilate the village, hope for the Band of Merriment quest to come up quickly. I could have just given him ten wine, but honestly, we're not we're already not producing the wine quickly enough to keep ourselves in wine all the time. And uh I just wanna I don't want to make that any that situation any worse than it is. Uh so Gleka is not a region of great value, except for the way it blocks. It does have an already pacified village. That's not um, that's not meaningless. Sorry to stop your settling runaway green, because that's clearly what he's doing, right? He's he's using his settles as a way to continue to expand his country on one side as it gets devoured from the other. Uh, so there's no good land anywhere. Like honestly, ten eight three. Very probable. Yeah. It's not exciting, but forests are fine. Ten five two four. Is that better than ten eight three? No. Yeah, that'll be your orders. Not exciting, totally serviceable. The thing I'm really looking for in a region is to be able to describe it in the way that I'd like to describe my car, right? Uh, so we need to... Where'd those Delvers go? Did Green fight them? Huh. Okay, I'm totally cool with that. Go harvest pearls. Alright, I think we are probably reaching the end of this episode here. Let me set stuff to build in Renar. Yeah, Wayward Seagull is having a tremendous effect on this city. This settle is going to hurt our uh, approval level, which I just got under control. But it's all going to be worthwhile. So Guiron can probably go back to population. Your work in population. Yeah, this all looks right. Alright, well that's going to be it for this episode of Alayan Endless. Come back next time, we're going to continue expanding into the ocean slowly. Um, actually, after Gleka, Jamaj is probably our next settlement. I doubt Shirelle or Doyak will, will be taken by the computer, like, honestly, maybe ever. It could be the case that if we settle Gleka and then don't take them, they'll just remain empty for the rest of the game. Um... Also, it does look like maybe green has halted pink's progress. That would be nice. Anyway, I was trying to do my outro. I got distracted. I always do that. Come back tomorrow. Come back next time. I don't know when this episode's going on. Come back next time. See if we can maybe uh, expand out into the sea and win some kind of defensive economic victory. Or maybe win our quest victory by just carving through pink as revenge for what happened last game. And we'll see you then.